you guys i look kind of scary because i look kind of swollen and i have my hair in like a fish shell braid and i never have it like that so that's probably why i look weird but i had to have it braided for the surgery today but yeah we're here we're just parking and i'm about to walk in i'm gonna, about to get out of the car right now and walk in to do this um i don't know what time my surgery is at but they told me to be here at six my boyfriend says that he thinks it's around like seven or eight so i guess we'll see are you nervous for me yeah a little bit i'm gonna be fine let's go okay so i just met the doctor he's really really nice he came in did his thing uh didn't really ask me like what i wanted but i think he just kind of like he's a professional so i think he, he knew what like what would be good for like my type of body shape and then he asked me oh how much volume do you want on your butt and I said, oh, I'm not doing my butt. He's like, oh, okay. So just like the upper area. And I was like, oh, well, I actually want to do like a little bit in my hip. What do you think? And then he marked me up and he marked my butt. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to do the butt. And he's like, no, I'm not going to touch it at all. It's just he made like a square right here that was shaded in. He said, I'm only going to touch that. But he needs to like shape it to see how it's going to, like where he's going to put it. He did my arms. He did this part. And I already know that the arms and like the, the armpit part is going to hurt so bad. And I feel like that's going to be the worst part. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, what kind of pain, but they have to shower me tomorrow. And I feel like that's gonna hurt too, so. I'm really not that nervous. I was way more nervous yesterday, like way more. But now that it's like things are happening and I'm just like, it's I know it's gonna happen like, we're, like really soon. I'm just kind of like, whatever. I'm kind of scared about the epidural thing too. I keep, I've been thinking about that a lot. But uh, I'm a pretty strong woman, so. I think yes, I'll be fine. you are, babe. They put the compression socks uh, there's markings like all over. You can't see. Oh, you can't see them. A little bit. You yeah. can see like some right there. Yeah. There's markings like all over my body. Um, yeah. Now I'm just waiting. I guess you're gonna take me to like the other room yeah. and prepare me for surgery. What time is it right now? Seven fifty-three. Seven fifty-three. I guess the surgery is gonna start like almost nine. So. Yeah, probably almost nine. They said it's gonna take four hours. It's kind of long. Con the as well as how are you to start on your new yeah, body. said I'm going to look like a supermodel. I feel like I'm not expecting to look that great. So then when I do look that great, I'm going to be like so excited. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. Okay. I'm like downplaying the results, mm. even though I know they're going to be spectacular, but. Okay, guys, bye. Bye. Bueno, aquí estamos ya esperando que salga mi modelo de su cirugía. No, no se crean. Este, la verdad es que sí. Pues sí, no te dejan de dar como nervios que alguien la esté operando, you know. Empezó a las 8.53. Me mandaron el mensaje que ya había empezado la cirugía. So van como dos horas y media apenas de cirugía. Eh, el doctor dijo que va a ser aproximadamente 4 o 5 Entonces pues faltan otras dos El tiempo se pasa muy lento aquí esperando Muy muy lento Pero si os quiere todo saldrá bien Y pues bueno que he hecho Aquí a esperar y fui a comer algo ya a mi casa Pero pues no queda de otra más que estar al pendiente aquí So Bye. Este, ayer pues sí estaba, noté más, más nerviosa a Melissa unos, unos días atrás, pero hoy en la mañana también se lo notaba, aunque ella dice que, que no, que estaba bien en, emocionada y no sé qué, pues sí, sí, sí se emociona, pero yo sí la noté nerviosilla. Y yo también, la verdad que ayer, ayer también yo andaba ya medio preocupado, y más que en mi caso ya he entrado a, a muchos quirófanos y aunque... Aunque pues este tipo de cirugía no ha entrado ninguna, de todos modos uno ya se da una idea de todo lo que pasa allá adentro y todo lo que puede pasar, entonces pues te asusta más, ¿no? Pero bueno, si Dios quiere, todo va a salir bien. Y pues ahorita ella está ya bien dormidita en la cirugía con su, con su anestesia y uno aquí preocupado era que nos durmieran parejos a todos, hasta a mí, su mamá, mis papás, sus hermanos, todos, para pa no estar aquí nada más viendo el reloj pasar. <ríe> Bueno, bueno, después de esto nos vamos a echar un, un tequilita para darle gracias a Dios y celebrar que todo quedó al 100. Ahí luego les vamos a subir unos videos para que vean cómo quedó. Ok, I'm back. 
ya terminó la cirugía, gracias a Dios. Todo salió muy bien. Ahorita está en algo que se llama recuperación inmediata. Es como un cuarto donde tiene a todas las pacientes después de que las operan como por unos 40 minutos, una hora, para ver pues, que todo esté bien, cómo evolucionan, que se vayan despertando de la cirugía, de la anestesia más bien. Y pues bueno, aquí ya estoy esperándola en el cuarto. Yo creo pues, que ya no tardan en llegar. So, la siguiente cosa que vean ya va a ser a Melissa with her new body. <laughs> okay, bye. My hair looks crazy because they took it out of the bun that I had on the top of my head. But I just got out and I'm shivering so much so I can barely talk. Hopefully you guys can hear me because I have the mask on. But I don't feel pain right now. I just feel like something on the back of my arms, like where your triceps are. Um, so I have a feeling that's where it's gonna hurt a lot. But uh, right now I just don't feel a lot because I just got out of the surgery, so I'm sure it's the medicine. I'm sure it's the medicine. I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. La primera comida del... My hair looks like shit. Right. ¿Me trajeron? Sopa de fideo, some soup. And a babe, I think you think that's... That's uh, oil, but it's not. I can see it, it's fish. Dije que era pescado. I can see it right here. Es pescado. You didn't see chicken right now? Lechuga? No. Dije que era pescado la plancha. Oh. It's okay. Todas las tierras están under the anesthesia. I understand. He's kidding. It's good. The hospital food here is way better than any other hospital I've stayed at. I hope it's the last one. For the rest of your life. Hi. Um, I can talk to you guys in a couple hours. My hair probably looks more of a mess now. If you get does. surgery, this is what you're going to look like, so... A couple hours ago, I wasn't feeling that much pain. What are you eating? Tart I'm eating oatmeal. It's not very good. It's not good, be it doesn't look good because it's a little bit watery. And I'm saying it's not good because I like mine really hot. Like, if this were really hot, it'd be perfect because it's, like, sweet and stuff. Right now, I guess, like, from moving up and down the bed so much, I had been, like, sliding down. And I had to get up to eat. When I did it earlier, it wasn't that bad. And now I would say that being level one to 10, probably around a six. It's not hard, like you're sore. It's not hard to like move your body. It doesn't hurt. The thing that hurts, it's like, I feel like I'm laying on the stitches or something. And I was laying, like I'm laying on the ones on my back too much. So I feel like kind of hot. And it's like a pressure, mo a pressure point that's hot. That's what I feel like is like hurting me more than the soreness. And I watched a lot of videos that said that you couldn't like lift up your arms, and I can. There are people who literally couldn't like couldn't even hold their phones. And that, I thought that was gonna be me, but I can. But it could be because I still have medicine from the surgery. Maybe tonight. Probably tonight it's gonna be a little bit worse. We'll I see. will say tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. And I haven't seen my body, I haven't seen pictures, I haven't seen anything. And I was supposed to show the doctor pictures, but I like completely forgot. I talked about like soft de definition before I even saw him in person. So I guess that's what he was doing, but then I was like, oh, I think I told you I wanted it soft. And he's like, yeah, yeah, like I'm doing you. Um, and I was like, the, my most concern is just to have like a flat stomach. Cause I've never had like, I want it to be like vertical flat, you know, like a fucking cutting board. And he said, okay, so we're gonna focus on getting like mostly just the fat out and making it like molding it as like flat as possible.
¿Cómo te sientes ahora ya que te pasó, se te pasó la anestesia? Hi everyone. So as you saw in the clip before this, they just came in to fix fix up my bed and like you know replace the. I call them puppy pads because that's what they look like. And Spaniales, it's, Spaniales in Spanish. I didn't think like I was having really bad back problems. Like I I kept saying that I felt like I had a back roll that was like bending as I moved the bed. Like I couldn't lay down. Does that make sense? I don't have to explain it. But there I guess there's like a cotton in my back. But after like they changed all of that, I feel so much better. I like picked up my legs and shimmied them down instead of just trying to move my whole body together. And it helped with my back a lot. Okay. Hey guys, it's me. I'm editing the video right now and I just decided to pause these two clips so you guys can see how I was looking literally hours after my surgery. Hey everyone, today's day two. I can't like talk really loud because I can't, um, I don't have that much like energy. So they had to like sit me up today to sit on the edge of the bed to have my breakfast so that they could prepare me to like stand up and walk to the bathroom so I took a shower and I fainted. We didn't get it on camera because I mean we didn't even think about it. There was way too many people in here. There was two like men nurses that came and helped me get up or like move me to the edge of the bed. They like pulled me in the sheets and then two girl nurses and my boyfriend and they were all helping me and I got so dizzy. They took off my bandages too also when I sat up. So that's probably why I got dizzy too. Sorry, but I'm also like really dizzy right now. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get up. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Oh, the doctor also came to see me and his assistant. You're thinking of doing something like this? You absolutely have to be prepared for pain. Because there is a lot of pain. Not like a 10 out of, like 1 to 10, it's not a 10, it's like a, today it's like an 8. But it's because, like, the holes where they, um, you know, put the little machine in to, to take the fat out, like, they burn really bad, especially, like, right under my boobs. I think my boobs are laying, like, over the holes. They hurt really bad. I'm extremely sore. Like, yesterday I can move way more than I can move today. Hi everyone, I haven't been vlogging that much today, but I just got my first uh, drainage massage, and I fainted again. This is very, very, very hard. It's really hard. It's really scary. It's really hard. But when they, when she opened, because I guess my wounds were closing, she had to open like my little punctures, and it right when she opened them, right, it started like like a puddle, like. Like a bucket of, of liquid was pouring out of my stomach, literally pouring like a fountain. It wouldn't even stop. So it was really bad. And get my face. I can't breathe. Guys, I'm recording with my phone, but. I just wanted to get on here to say, I know it's kind of dark, but I'm, I can't get up to get to turn on the light, and then my boyfriend's not here, so.
today was the hardest day of my entire life. And now I know why YouTubers or people that make videos about this experience don't put it on video. It's because in the moment that you're like crying in pain, you don't really think about putting it on video. Like you don't think about anything. You only think about the pain that you're feeling and how much it hurts and how much you want to stop. You don't, you don't go on camera and be like, wait, let me grab the vlogger camera. Let me grab my phone, you know. I literally cannot begin to explain to you how hard this is. At, as of today, at this point, I do not recommend anyone do this to themselves. It's extremely hard. It is very painful. I just took medicine right now, so it calmed me down a little bit. But it's really, like, the worst thing I've ever done to myself in my life. I, I've cried today. I've yelled. I fainted this morning. It was really bad. And I would never do this to myself again. crying because I don't know I'm really like emotional and I know a lot of people don't put this in their videos but I just really miss my family and it kind of sucks to be here without them and just knowing I have like another massage and it just hurts so bad and I get so nervous for them I have to wear these tubes in my faha and they take them out. I can't even have them on for an hour. Because they hurt so bad. But the doctor told me that I'm not going to get the the shape that I want if I don't wear them. But I can't wear them for that long. And then I have to take them out. And it hurts really bad when I take them out. And I just get really stressed. I don't know. I just thought I should tell you guys. Hi guys. My hair looks really crazy. I'm going to see if I can walk over to grab the remote. Feeling a little bit better. I'm just trying to grab the remote. Give me a second. I got up by myself for the first time because my boyfriend's not here. And the nurse was taking too long. And I had to pee so bad. So I got up by myself from the bed. And it wasn't that bad. This new nurse came to see me in the morning. And she told me that I'm mostly like scared. So I thought about that. And I'm like, you know what, that's probably true. It's, I'm just scared. So I got it for myself. And I did it. And I still can't eat a lot. I haven't been eating a lot at all. No tengo mucho apetito. I'm tired. You can't really sleep at night. I can't sleep. I get like stiff and numb. It's weird. I okay, guys, this is the food that I eat every morning. Yesterday it was toast. With bacon, so it's a little bit different. Today's a little bit different. But look how good it looks. Tosada, they don't give to you. My boyfriend brought me these. His mom made me food yesterday. That was so nice. And it was so good. Oh, shit. But yeah. They're really nice here. And they always make us, like, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And bolognese. So I didn't vlog yesterday. Yesterday was day... What day is it today? Today's day six. And I'm really tired. I'm 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 tired. i am which was day five, and I thought like every day was gonna get better, but today, I don't know like what's going on. My skin feels like extra tight. I feel extra immobile, like, especially in the back of my arms, like behind my armpits back here. They just feel really, really, really hard right here on like my lats right here. The sides of my stomach right here feel really tight, like I can't move. I'm like extremely out of breath today. I don't know why. But uh, this is not pretty stuff. It's not pretty stuff. And I smell like every day. I don't know why. Even though they fucking shower me twice a day. Don't lie. What? No, this one can't be the lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. My boyfriend is pissing me off. <laughs> and I finally went to the bathroom today after not going for apparently six days. Six weeks? On the first day. On the second day. Five days then. Today's his mom's birthday, and we're supposed to go to his house for his mom's birthday, but I don't know if I can today. It's okay. You don't have to go. I really wanted to go outside. I was really looking forward to leaving to do something, but I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe after I get drained, I'll feel better. But the other, the other therapist hasn't came today either. Maybe it's because I haven't got massages. I don't know. 
Maybe it's because I've been laying down all day. But I feel a bit, like dizzy, out of breath. My skin feels extra tight in certain areas. Sorry if my phone is really close to my face, but I can't extend my arm that much. But I wanted to go on here to say that I'm finally leaving the house. I've left the house today. Today's day six. And um, in the morning, I was feeling really gross, really dizzy when I got the massage. But I think it's because of the iron vitamin that I have to take or the pill, whatever. And they gave me something for like nausea after that and I felt fine. But I'm going to my boyfriend's house for his mom's birthday. So we're taking her some stuff for her birthday and having dinner and stuff. And I've been fine getting in the car. Ah! Uh, the bumps and stuff do hurt my back. My back is what mostly hurts in my arms right now. Um, but as of day six, I'm feeling a little bit better to like get sit in the car. Hey guys, so today's day seven of my surgery. It was a week ago that I had my surgery. It's Monday and I had it on June 1st. Today's June. 8th. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday or the day before just because I kind of forgot and I've been going out way more Obviously, well not way more. I've just been stepping out of the house. So we went to No, just get some food yesterday and I don't get out of breath as much as I used to and I'm starting to bruise up a lot You could see some right here. This actually doesn't hurt like no me duele nada aquí No más parece que sí, pero no porque me sacaron gracias de los arms también They took out um, fat from here but where it hurts really bad are like the incisions right here. It's like really swollen right here and you can't drain it. So I just have to wait for the swelling to go down. There's also like incisions right here that are really small. Like this one. Este ya se cerró. This one's already closed. You can't really tell right there either. But yeah, I'm healing up like pretty well. My faja, I have to get a new one, I'm pretty sure. Because it's like too, um, it's too big now. This is a medium, so I'm gonna have to get a small. But yeah, everything's looking pretty great. My hips are going down too, a little bit too, the swelling. They're not as big as they used to be, so I'm kind of sad about that. But yeah, walking around and leaving out of the house has been helping me a lot. So yeah, I would say that it gets easier on day six, five, six, and seven. Because days like one through four, or days two through four are really bad. Hey guys, it's now day nine, right? It's Tuesday? Mm -hmm. It's nine days. It's day nine, and I'm feeling... A lot better. I still get out of breath, especially after the massages. Today was the first time I showered by myself, and I'm very, very out of breath after doing that. So it was kind of hard, but I did it. I am now wearing the tubes because I noticed my stomach is looking, I don't know, like not the way that I want it, but it's just because I still am really, really swollen. So I'm wearing the tubes. My holes where they drain me, um, like in my crotch, not my crotch area, but my pubic area right underneath my stomach, are the only ones that are still open along with the one like right above my butt crack because the, that's where they drain me and they don't let them close and they really 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 hurt they really sting so that's what's going on and yeah yesterday was my baby's birthday and we went out for sushi or we're going to celebrate just the two of us before i leave We want to breed otra vez. They're gonna open the hole and it hurts so bad. Because it's just in the Oh my god. They just opened it in the morning. ¿Ya abrió? No. Oh! Oh, holy fuck! Oh, yeah. No, esa vez me dolió. Estaba muy cerrado. Sí. Este cuento no quiere. Ya lo voy a sacar. Pero mira, en vez salió y en realidad no. No está drenando ya. No. Pero sí estaba muy. Oh, it stinks. Cuando me baño me duele también. Es que le cae como de nuevo. Cuando sale el agua de allí me duele también. Calientita. It like stings, como arde. Sí. Ya salió, eh? Poquito ya sentí. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're peeing out of the top of your butt crack. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah, esta parte no duele tanto. Lo que duele solo de enfrente. Sí. 
¿Necesitas algo? Agua, coca. Todo bien y sale de abajo y estoy caliente. Yo creo que son nervios. El color está súper bien. Qué bueno. Ay, ese es el que duele bien feo. Ay, sí me arde feo, sí. Es que yo creo que ya está encantado. Me arden bien feo, de verdad. ¿Puedo abrir? Sí. Me cuesta el trabajo abrir y entra. ¿Ya? Ok. Oh, y está saliendo mucho. Lo siento, está saliendo mucho, ¿verdad? Mm, sí, pero sí. sale. Sí. Sí, ya el color ya ha avanzado bastante. Literal, estamos viendo el color, mi amor, para que vean. El otro día estaba súper rojo y hielo el tapetito. Sí. Ya. Yeah. O sea, era como el día 4, ¿no? Que grabaste y era. Ok, mira, aquí está the mat. This is the mat. As you can see, it's like more yellow on this side, right here. Because that means that there's not that much liquid coming out of one side anymore, or it's not like building up as much. Um, but I'm going to show you guys my thighs really quick, so like you can't really see. Hey guys, so I'm getting my last massage right now. Oh my god, my boob. I'm getting my last massage right now. It feels very surreal. I'm actually very happy because he's hurt very bad. But... I'm leaving the house that I'm staying at today, and I'm going to go be staying at my boyfriend's house for two more days until I go home on Monday. But I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite massage therapy girls. Siempre somos muy platicadoras, ¿verdad? Muy amigas. She's so sweet. I'm going to introduce you. She's literally the best. Watch. Hi, Hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. She's so cute. She just got married on Saturday. ¿Verdad que te casaste? Yes. Yeah. Get married. <laughs> yeah, she did. She's so nice. We're always like chatting it up. Estamos platicando. Y el tiempo se pasa más rápido que estamos platicando mucho, so. It's Para nice. No I know. <laughs> but she's tough. Look at her. Está bien chiquita y todo. But she's so tough. And she's very strong. Ella me pudo levantar so many times antes de que yo podía. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's strong. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is what she's doing. This is the LED. ¿Or qué es? And ultrasound therapy. Que ayuda con... Relajar el músculo. Desbaratar todo lo que queda duro en, adentro de la piel. El líquido para que salga más, eh, para que tenga el mejor movimiento, para desinflamar. Y después de esto les hacemos el drenaje. Mm. Y después del drenaje es lo doloroso. Sí, yeah. uh -huh. I know. This is my, my worst nightmare, the drainage. Pero es mi last one, sí. so it's okay. La última. Ya, yeah, ya le puedo aguantar. Okay, bye. bye, bye. Hey guys, so I'm home now, and yesterday was my two weeks. Yes, it was my two weeks after surgery, and I am feeling a lot better. The only thing that I have noticed is that because I'm not doing the draining anymore, and I haven't been for like the past four days, my skin feels really tight because I'm filling up with like a bunch of liquid again. And um, that when you have like a lot of liquid, to me, this is like this is just in my opinion. It feels like really tight. It feels like you can't stretch, and if you stretch, you're gonna like rip your skin open. So that's the only thing that's been like a little bit more uncomfortable. Plus. I have a lot of like hard, like they said it's like hard liquid that's like building up right where my um, like B part is of my, um, right below my belly button. It's like hard, hard. And on one side, it's like more of like a ball, like a lump. They said that that would diminish over time. So I'm really hoping it does because it's really uncomfortable when I like bend my leg a certain way. So yeah, that's two weeks update. What else do I have to say? My bruising, I'm going to try to show you. My bruising has come up more this one is still really dark it's turning more of like a red color this one too my stomach i can't show you guys but because i have like the tubes on and stuff right here i will be inserting clips and pictures in my q a so stay tuned for that and i'll also be posting pictures on my instagram and stuff so i think that's all i have to say for my two week update oh yeah my doctor told me i'm actually really annoyed make sure that you speak to your doctor really well and in detail before you leave the country or before you leave the state wherever if you're going home wherever you're getting surgery my doctor told me that i needed to stay in mexico for 10 days so i can get 10 um ultrasound therapies 
And then when I was leaving, he's like, oh, I recommend you keep getting the therapies. And I was like, what do you mean? When I went to my post-op appointment. And he's like, oh, yeah, it'd be really important important because you're still, like, building, a, um, getting a lot of liquid, da da da, da. And I was like, oh, well, you told me that I really need 10. He's like, yeah, I just recommend you keep getting at least twice a week. So I've been calling six different places in my area. None of them do ultrasound therapy. Only one person does lymphatic drainage post-op for like mommy makeovers, tummy tucks, liposuction, knee surgeries, things like that. But it's not drainage and it's not with ultrasound therapy. It's literally just with her hands. But she says that all of her clients feel really good and that it helps a lot with the lymphatic drainage and your lymph nodes and stuff like that I, i'm not a doctor and i don't really know about the kind of stuff but i'll let you know how it goes the only thing that is I'm, it's really concerning and it's kind of annoying because i could have stayed in mexico an extra two weeks and paid 25 dollars for each appointment but now i'm paying 150 dollars for each appointment and that's why i can only do it one week once a week because it is very expensive so yeah just keep that in mind speak to your doctor make sure you like ask him all of these questions because there are a ton of financial surprises when you're getting a surgery like this. But yeah, this is going to be the end of my vlog, my surgery vlog. I'm going to be doing a part three video. I'll be getting surgery out of the country. I have a lot of things to tell you guys. I've been writing notes since like day one, since the day I came out of surgery. So stay tuned for that one. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys always watching my videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed me being very honest. This was a very hard experience for me. Like you guys saw those clips. Those clips were harsh, okay? But I cannot tell you what to do with your body, but I'm just telling you that that's the reality, okay? It's reality.